Electrons in an atom can have certain energy levels. The energy levels are set depending on the element. So I can add energy to an electron through something like adding an electrical current through a gas or a, a photon, show an electron, and I can increase its energy level. Now, there's a model called the Bohr model, after Niles Bohr, who came up with it, whereby the electron can change its levels of energy. The, middle, the lowest energy state is known as the ground state here. Okay? So the electron can sit on this energy level. Now, it's important to note that these don't actually represent orbits. So it's not like it's jumping between the shells that you would talk about in A-level chemistry. It's important to realize that these only represent how much energy is in an electron and the, dis the energy levels that it can go to. So say, for example, uh, this uh, electron here uh, comes into contact with a nice high energy photon. This electron will jump up an energy level, it would increase the amount of energy it has. So it will move up an energy level, like so. It will absorb that photon. Now we'll only absorb a photon that is equal to this, the energy difference here. So let's say this is worth minus 13 electron volts, and this level up here is worth minus 1.5 electron volts. When you get to zero, we're really talking about the ionization. So to get this electron ionized away from the metal or whatever it is, this electron would need to absorb a photon equal to zero, uh, sorry, 13.6 electron volts to get all the way to here in order to be ionized. All right? Now, remember that the photon energy is worked as E equals HF. This has nothing to do with electron volts, apart from the fact that we can convert these into electron volts by um, multiplying the electron volt value by the charge on an electron. More on that in the second video. So, the electron has gone up to a higher energy level by absorbing a photon of a certain discrete energy. Now, the photon wants to be back in a lower energy level. It's kind of like feeding kids too much candy. They need to chill out eventually. So, the electron will drop back down an energy level, maybe one, maybe two, maybe all the way back down to the ground state. It's reasonably random which energy level it goes down. So let's say it drops back down to this level. It may emit a photon of a certain energy level. It must get rid of that energy, and it does so by emitting a photon. It may then drop down another energy level by emitting yet another photon. So even although we had one frequency of light come in, worth a certain amount of energy, because... So you increase the frequency, you increase the energy of a photon. We've increased the energy level from 13.6 to 1.5 electron volts, which means it's gone up by a total of 12.1 electron volts. It's going to drop back down the energy levels again, losing energy in the form of a photon as it does. See the second video for a little help on how you do calculations with these.